Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Jerzan Rodriguez, also known as Chaos79. Um, I'm originally from Honduras. Uh, that's a small country in Central America. Uh, came here when I was uh, five, six years old, um, and been drawn since I can remember. Um, uh, my goal in in with my artist to always, you know, send out a message and touch people in some way. Um, you know, um, it's always either religious, political, whatever kind of message I could get in there, um, dealing with what's going on right now and in this time. Um, I, I have many influences that uh, I, I really follow and I'm a fan of, um, primarily uh, one being Salvador Dali, it's one of my favorite artists of all time, Pablo Picasso. Um, Diego Rivera, um, you know, uh, I did some murals uh, uh, that were inspired by Diego uh, Rivera. So, you know, come check me out. Come support me. Um, I'm trying to do the best to make sure y'all, uh, you know, get to see my art. Buy me now while I'm not super expensive because I'll get there, I promise you. Um, and just come, come check me out. Um, you could go to my website also, uh, www.artbyjerzan.com, and uh, you know see some of the uh, art pieces I'm posting on a regular basis. Um, another one of my goals coming up soon is uh, to follow the footsteps of my boy Dan and become a tattoo artist. It's been a life dream, uh, a life goal that I've been wanting to do since. Um, Back in the 90s when I started doing henna tattoos. And now I'm finally moving into the permanent stuff. So, you know, support me. Buy my art. Buy my work. Um, I guarantee it will be worth something in the future. I promise you. It's an investment. It's a luxurious investment, but it's an investment. What kind of Holla art, at me. What kind of artwork do you do? Um, what kind of mediums do you work in? I, I work in pretty much all mediums. I like acrylics. I like oils. I like charcoals. Um, I do oil pastels. Whatever I can get my hands on that has color and I can use. Um, you know, I've pretty much been playing with them all the mediums my whole life. I've done sculpture, you know. Um, so wherever I could throw some paint on and I'm good to go. Okay, talk to us about that piece up there. Uh, this piece right here, uh, it's called The Agony of Mother Nature. Um, it pretty much represents uh, Mother Nature suffering, and uh, uh, the fire represents her, um, you know, I guess the greenhouse effect that we're going through with her burning up, um, feeling all the heat. And, um, you know, then uh, you see uh, the, the black at the bottom is kind of representative of the, you know, infamous oil spills uh, and our greed for oil and wealth um, the moon uh, I put the moon up there because it's celestial and I believe mother Na nature is a celestial being so I want to do the moon in a odd color like a, a almost a, a prophecy color according to the bible when the moon turns to blood but you know uh, that's an uh, inspiration that I use. The green background is to represent uh, nature and the color, the primary color of nature, which is to, known to people as green. And uh, in October of 2009, I lost my mother to cancer. So originally, her first cancer was detected to be ovarian cancer. So I put the two uh, dying lilies uh, next to the... Um, Mother Nature representing my mom, uh, and they're in the form sort of like a, the ovaries of a woman. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just uh, it's a meaningful piece to me. Uh, Mother Nature's trapped with barbed wire, um, you know. So, that's that's what that painting is about. Pick up one of the other ones um, and tell us about it. I also did this painting. Um, it's called Fuck Liberty. <laughs> and uh, this painting is pretty much representative of the, the stuff that's going on with immigration laws. Um, it's a pretty basic uh, painting. Um, and it was all done in Sharpies on canvas. I love Sharpies. I'm a big Sharpie fan. Um, 
And uh, it's pretty much the Statue of Liberty with a, a Jason, you know, Friday the 13th type of mask um, and a gun. Uh, and behind it, you know, the missiles represent pretty much how we're being attacked as uh, uh, immigrants uh, of this country. I know a lot of people believe that we came here and took your jobs, but nah, we didn't do that. We came here and took the jobs that, you know, lazy motherfuckers didn't want. So that's what we do, and uh, that's what this painting represents. It's a statement, and uh, with that, I want to say fuck Arizona. Fuck everybody in there. Get the hell out and come to Georgia. We'll take y'all. Um, I also did um, this one. Uh, this piece is uh, called What You Don't Know Can Kill. Um, pretty much is, is the death of innocence in a way. Uh, you see the skulls blowing the dandelion. A lot of kids uh, love to blow that, the dandelions, not knowing that it's actually a pretty bad weed. Um, that destroys your lawns. It's kind of a small statement, but you know I like the concept of it. Uh, the skull has makeup, sort of like um, you know a Latin tradition of uh, El Dia de los Muertos or, or what you guys would call Halloween. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. I, I um, did this one for the Green Show um, because of. of of course, the, the message of the death of innocence kind of goes with it. Um, and this is actually one of my newest pieces, one of my favorite ones at this point. Um, so that's what this is about. My main goal with my art is to have uh, my first solo art show um, and make it a good one. Um, you know, uh, eventually my ultimate goal is to be a renowned artist uh, worldwide, um, you know, like any other artist, uh, except I'm going to get there. Um, so, you know, uh, just just to expose and, and show the message of my art to the world and uh, the beauty behind it, you know, just get it out there and represent uh, for the Latin American people, um, you know. Where do you get your inspiration for these people? A lot of my inspiration for the pieces uh, comes out from the from uh, pretty much stuff that's going on at the time, uh, current events, the news, um, uh, past stuff that I've gone through personally. Um, you know, just um, life in general. Um, uh, as far as artistic inspiration, you know, Salvador Dali, Diego Rivera, Picasso. Um, and many, many more, but, you know, those are my top three, um, favorite artists of all time, so, um, that's where a lot of my, my inspiration comes from, from my art pieces. Okay. Um, and people can reach you where? Uh, you can reach me at, uh, you can see my artwork, one, at my website, www.artbyjerzan.com. Uh, you could find me on Facebook under Jerzan Rodriguez. Um, you could find me on MySpace under uh, MySpace.com slash Chaos79. Um, Twitter, ChaoticG79. Um, anywhere. You need me, you can find me. So Google me up, Jerzan Rodriguez. First thing that pops up is me. Thank you.